Freshwater ice is a perfect match for the theme of this mini MOOC, winter water warming. After all, freshwater ice is simply water in its solid state. In all but the coldest areas of the world, lake ice and river ice are seasonal since it develops during winter and disappears when warmer spring temperatures arrive. Being dependent on cold temperatures, freshwater ice processes and properties indicate the effects of climate warming. Canada comprises many lakes and rivers and has cold winters. As such, freshwater ice is very common in our country. Likewise, the winter landscape of countries such as Finland, Norway, Russia and Sweden includes a great deal of freshwater ice. The effects of freshwater ice on both nature and humans are significant and diverse. For example, ice cover changes the ability of lakes and rivers to evaporate and reflect sunlight and therefore affects processes related to hydrology, weather and climate. Of course, ice cover also has major effects on the ecology, including the migration of animal species. The breakup of river ice tends to have the most obvious and varied impact on the surrounding environment, especially when accompanied by ice jamming and overland flooding. Ice jam flood events can stain wetland ecosystems, but also cause severe damage to populated areas and compromise riverine transportation. Similarly, ice cover complicates the operations of industries that make use of surface water and the measurement of water levels and stream flow. Yet, ice cover also provides an effective and economical base for seasonal roads and bridges that facilitate valuable land transport to isolated fly-in communities and industries. Likewise, it makes a good foundation for temporary runways. But, as is the case with more permanent forms of infrastructure, accidents do occur. The opportunities ice cover creates for recreational activities also demonstrate its benefits to society and expose the creativity and bravery of some of our fellow human beings. This lesson centers around three case studies that demonstrate the utility of radar remote sensing in support of lake ice breakup monitoring, river ice breakup monitoring and ice road trafficability mapping. These applications align with important effects of freshwater ice on cold region environments and correspond to fields that involve stakeholders with major information needs. An introduction to the interaction of radar waves with freshwater ice cover, as well as a demonstration of fieldwork activities, precedes the case studies. These sections provide essential background information that will help you to appreciate the case studies and prepare you to develop your own methods to characterize freshwater ice by means of images from radar satellites.